What is going on guys? Papa C back with another video for you guys bringing you NPA Season 3 Week 10. This week your New York Lynx are going up against Christelle, coach of the Adelaide Umbreons. Her link will be in the description. We're sitting at Week 10. This is kind of a must, pretty, it's, it's pretty much a must win at this point if you want to make playoffs because we have two freaking wins. Uh, for Carcel, even though she's 1-7, in seven, I don't think she's mathematically eliminated from playoffs. I think she actually has like a relatively okay shot at making it. Uh, obviously, she relies on a lot of people losing, but uh, if we win out, we should make it. And if Carcel wins out, there is a pretty decent chance she might make it. So we gotta make sure we win this battle so that way our playoff dreams are alive. Uh, but let's see what she brings. If you guys into the team builder, make sure you go, you go check that out uh, because I explain everything in depth, of course. So we're going to do single battle normal rules, of course. Make sure we don't make the same mistake as we did with uh, with um, Specs a couple weeks ago and had a level 100 Pokemon. That was kind of funny. Oh, man. I'm a little nervous about this battle, though. I don't know. I, I feel like it's probably the most nervous I've been in a while uh, for an NPA battle. So here we go. Here's the team. I'm bringing Eleveny for the first time. It might be the third time, actually. That we brought Levany. I know I brought it. I thought I brought it. I don't know. We haven't brought Levany a lot though. That's what it comes down to. Uh, but we are bringing it this week because it does handle the zoom roll pretty nicely. Uh, and the zoom roll is a threat. And I do have webs pressure, which could be nice. Oh man. Select the participating Pokemon. Alright, you guys know the drill. Gotta take a screenshot. Gotta take a screenshot. And she did not bring a zoom roll or Celesteela or Cradilly. Oh my god. I think I still lead Gligar though. Gligar is a very nice matchup because she cannot galvanize explosion with the Alolan, Alolan Golem, excuse me. She has that. She has no Levitator. She did not bring her ground type in Flygon, so I'm actually- Wow. She did not bring any- Like, I got this way off to be honest. I was definitely expecting Celesteela and Azu, but um, I gotta lead with my- She might be aggressive actually and lead with the Lapras. What is Lapras' speed actually? Hold on. What is Lapras's speed? Lapras is base 60, so I'm gonna outspeed it with uh, Gligar no matter what. Um, wow. This is kind of weird though. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lead Gligar. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I'm definitely expecting the Golem or the Gengar to lead though. Uh, so let's do that. Let's do that. And let's see what we got. So we got my Calyx up. Uh, let me just bring Gligar up so I can see what she brings against me. So she's thinking. She is thinking here. Now, does Audino get Stealth Rocks? I should know this. I don't think it does. I don't think it does. Actually, I'm almost certain that it does not. Uh. Uh. No, it does not. Okay. Woo! I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little shaky. I don't know why I'm more nervous this week than I normally am. Oh, man. Alright, so what is she leading with? Gotta pay attention here. Gotta pay attention here. Alright, so she is issuing that challenge. Pokemon Trainer Crucial. Oh, man. Super base. What is that? Oh, it's, I thought I saw the Beast Ball and I was confused. Kind of forgot that you could get the, you know, non Ultra Beast into Beast Ball. Does this have a uh, balloon? It does. Okay, it has a balloon. Uh, let me write that down then. So, air, balloon, golem, or golem, however you want to call it. So, um, again, like, I am such a noob that I, I, I don't know what a long golem speed is. I want to say it's 40. I want to say it's 40. Uh, it's 45. I was close enough. So, hypothetically speaking, if she's Jolly Max, she, um, should not outspeed Gligar if she's Jolly Max? No, she doesn't because I have tw that's why I had the 12 EVs in Gligar to outspeed Jolly Max this. You guys remember from the team builder, I was confused. Um, I'm gonna go right for the taunt here, just so she cannot go for Stealth Rocks. Uh, so there we go, there's the taunt. And I'm definitely expecting Stealth Rocks here. Uh, yeah, there's a Stealth Rock. So, now I'm gonna go for Stealth Rocks because she literally can't touch me. Uh, she might want to go out into her, into her, um, Lapras here, actually. Lapras, was Lapras base 60 speed? Lapras was base 60 speed, right? Yeah, okay. So if she does have Lapras, it could actually potentially outspeed me. She stays in. Okay. That's fine. So there's the rocks. What does she go for here? She goes for Stone Edge. That shouldn't do that much damage. Yeah, it doesn't do that much damage. Uh, I'm just going to use her in here into my... Hmm. You turn into... <sighs> hmm. I got a U-turn, that's for sure. She's going to click Stone Edge again, I think. Um, I don't have Roost on this thing. 
If I U-turn into Blastoise... Hold on, does Blastoise kill? Does Blastoise kill this thing with the skull? I gotta check this out. Uh, I keep clicking the wrong Blastoise sets, man. I gotta click Don. Don the Blastoise against a Golem. Golem. Golem, Golem. However you wanna call it. Um, Skull does not kill, even if I U-turn. I'm gonna U-turn anyway, though, because I have to break this thing's, uh, air balloon. Okay, so she stays in. Alright, so how much did that do? Hold on. So... Yeah, okay. Um, to be honest, I think I can go to my Levani here. Let's think here now. Because Leaf Storm would kill... But how much does Stone Edge do? Stone Edge does not kill. Actually, hold on. If you're adamant, it might kill. If you're adamant, it might kill. Uh, if I go to my Alakazam here, does it kill? Let's see. If I go to Alakazam, Stone Edge kills. I think I honestly have to sack off my Levani, as sad as this sounds. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm. Unless Blastoise take it. No, Blastoise can't take a hit. Yeah, I gotta go to Levani. I gotta go to Levani. I do have Hidden Power Ground. I'm gonna Hidden Power Ground. Because she's gonna switch out into her Salazzle, I think. Uh, so he goes for a turn. I'm gonna take that. That is gonna be an Electric-type move. Uh, because of the ability this thing has with Galvanize. So Tom goes away. Now, okay. I don't think... I think she's gonna switch in Salazzle here. Because why would she not? So let me just verify that we can kill the Salazzle. So... We did get Stealth Rocks up, which is super, super nice, because even if she does have uh, enough HP invested in Salazzle, uh, by speed curving my Zapdos, that makes sense, we should be able to kill it with a Hidden Power Ground after Rocks. Um, yeah, guaranteed. And Hidden Power Ground against this thing, actually, let me just verify. Let me just verify. Um, Hidden Power Ground's a roll on this thing. I'm gonna go for it anyway. Because I think she's going to switch. Let's see what she does. She switches out. Please go into Salazzle. That's one punch, man. That's not Salazzle. Okay. Uh, that, this thing probably is Fire Punch then, I would guess. So Hidden Power Ground's not going to do anything. Uh, however, I do think I outspeed this thing. I do think I outspeed this thing. So let me actually calc this here then. Uh, so we have a Hitmonchan. Which I wonder if it's AV. It might be, so I don't want to Leaf Storm. I want to switch out. Uh, I think I want to go out into my Zapdos. Maybe. It's such a weird matchup, though, because, like... Oh, no, I don't want to go to Zapdos. I think I want to go to Blastoise. Because, like, I did not expect this team. Uh, Drain Punch does a ton to Blastoise. If I go to Alakazam, right? Alakazam... And she goes for knockoff? How much does that do to Alakazam? That would kill Alakazam. Uh, to be honest, I think I'm going to stay in and go for sticky webs. I think I'm going to do that. Well, just so I get them up. Alright, so... Sticky webs up. So she's probably going to fire punch here. Ice punch! Okay, that, that still does damage. That's fine. Uh, that should kill me. It does not kill me. Uh, I am going to just sack this off and go for the knockoff then. Because this thing might be AV. I don't really know. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to knock this thing off. Just because I don't know what, it, what it's going to do. Uh, and I could potentially miss a Leaf Storm, so I don't want to click that, I guess. So let's see what you had. Assault Vest? Uh, assault Vest, okay. So he goes for... Oh, Rapid Spin. I forgot this thing had Rapid Spin. Okay. That's kind of bad. That is kind of bad. Um, I am going to... Oh, I forgot this thing had Rapid Spin, damn it. I'm gonna go out... Okay, she has Ice Punch, so I can't go to Mocha. She has Rapid Spin. Her, the Assault Vest is gone. So, can Levani actually kill this thing, maybe? With a Leaf Storm? No. I cannot kill this thing with a Leaf Storm. So, I think I'm just going to go for Webs again. Again? Because I don't know which I don't know if she's gonna click Rapid Spin again. Predicting my webs. Because I don't know if Rapid Spin would kill here, that's a thing. So let's see what she does. Alright, she goes for Rapid Spin again. She goes okay, smart play, Chriselle. Smart play. And I wanna sack this thing off anyway, and I still live. 
we still live. So I think she's going to rapid spin again. So I'm going to make the aggressive play and go out into my Alakazam. Let's do that. Um, I actually lied. I think I said Hitmonchan Sucker Punch earlier. Hitmonchan does not get Sucker Punch. Uh, let me just verify that because now I'm second guessing myself, which is never good. So Hitmonchan does not get Sucker Punch. Does not get Sucker Punch. Uh, she did not bring a Dark type. So I am just going to Mega Evolve and click Psyshock and kill this thing. Uh, and she switches out into what? Into IDK. Is this the uh, Lapras? Audino. Alright, let's see how much this does then. Let's see how much this does to Audino. Alright, so there's the Mega. Now, Audino does get Regenerator. I am going to trace it most likely. Yeah, okay. So I trace the Regenerator. Um, webs are not up anymore, so I gotta actually get rid of that on my notes so I don't get confused. Alright, that is going to definitely be a 2 hit KO. Okay. Even after Leftovers Recovery. So that's completely fine. I'm gonna go for it again. And this thing might die. So let's see. Kinda sucks that webs aren't up. I completely forgot about Rapid Spin on Hitmonchan. Uh, I didn't think she would run it, to be honest. And I just, I just got caught off guard, I guess. And that is going to get the KO, so Alakazam kills Audino, or Adino. Now the thing is, uh, it is possible that she could be a Choice Scarf on the Gengar. Uh, if she was the Gengar here, I think that's going to guarantee that it's Choice Scarf, unless we see an Air Balloon. Uh, we do not see an Air Balloon, so I'm kind of expecting a Shadow Ball here. So I'm going to go out into my Specially Defensive Blastoise. Uh, a Z-Move is very possible as well. Uh, Gengar is a pretty good Pokemon to have a Z-Move on, in my opinion, just because it can hit really hard. Uh, so let's see what it does. Uh, and if it is a Z-move and Blastoise dies, Alakazam can just come back in. Uh, and unless she has, like, Choice Scarf Salazzle, then maybe there could be an issue there? I don't really know. But uh, Mega Zam looks like it's gonna be really nice to smash up. Now, originally, my Blaziken was supposed to be my Wincon, but I think it's gonna be Zam now. Goes for Shadow Ball. Okay. So do we see Life Orb? What do we see? That does a decent amount of damage. Uh, no crate dilly, so I could technically scald, although she does have the ice type, uh, whatchamacallit? The ice type Lapras. So, I'm actually going to calc a Dark Pulse, because I don't know if it's going to kill. Uh, I mean, Gengar is pretty frail. Let's find out. Uh, Gengar at level 50, of course. Uh, Dark Pulse is not going to kill, but it should do, like, a lot. So, let's see what she does. She switches out into what? A giant flush. What? Okay, so there's this thing. Dark Pulse is not going to do very much damage. Now, do I go for Toxic here? I'm kind of expecting a Freeze Dry. I'm definitely expecting a Freeze Dry. Uh, and this thing is probably a Soul Fisted as well. Let me actually Calc Lapras Freeze Dry. Um, choice Specs, because why not? I can actually live with Choice Specs Freeze Dry. So I'm going to go for the Toxic here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go for Toxic here. Uh, I can also see if you're speed, you're not speed invested. Okay, so we land the Toxic, which is nice. The Aldino is dead as well, so we do not have to worry about Heal Bell. So there's the Toxic. I'm expecting a free try. Thunderbolt, that works too. That works too. Doesn't kill me though. That is a crit. Holy crap, that was a crit? That didn't even do that much damage. So I'm definitely expecting her to have Ice Beam as well. Um, because I do have Gligar. So, she's gonna Thunderbolt again. Um... Hmm. I think I sack off my Naruto here. Let's see here now. Can Blaziken actually kill this thing? Can Blaziken actually kill this thing? With a high jump kick? Oh my god, it can. So, I'm gonna go out into my, um... Leveny just to kind of sack it off and see what she does as well. Because I would like to save this thing later. Uh, for a uh, Gengar switch in, possibly. Alright, so there's Levani. She goes for Thunderbolt again, and Levani dies to Lapras. So Levani goes 0 1. Unfortunately, Levani kind of didn't really do much, but it's whatever. Uh, if I got that, if I got, if I pulled off that cheeky HP ground on the switch in to uh, Salazzle, that would have been amazing. So actually, can Alakazam do something here? Can Alakazam do something here? Um, that's the wrong Alakazam set, Let's see? Actually, what am I saying Alakazam? Zapdos? Can Zapdos do anything here? Uh, Zapdos Thunderbolt is going to be a roll. And Blaziken High Jump Kick 
10 miss though. That's the thing. If I miss a high jump kick, that's pretty bad. Uh, energy ball is a decent amount. Hmm. Hmm. I think I go to Zam here. Or not Zam, excuse me. Uh, Blaziken. Now the thing is, can I be greedy and set up an agility in front of this thing? Uh, if it's Hydro Pump, no. Uh, the thing is, even if you're max HP, like, high jump kick's gonna kill you. Uh, however, you can switch into your Gengar. Alright, so there's this thing. Let's think here now. Hmm. Flare Blitz is not gonna kill. See, High Jump Kick is so obvious that she's gonna go out into her Gengar. So I think I'm just going to click Agility. I think I'm just gonna click Agility here because why would she not- why would she just let this thing die? You know what I'm saying? If I go for Agility, then I can kill the uh, Gengar. Uh, if she doesn't switch out, then that's kind of bad. Although I think she wants to keep this because it can check my Blastoise pretty nicely. I can't I can't touch it. And she switches out. Fantastic. So we get the Agility off. Uh, into Super Base, that is the Gengar, right? No, it's this thing. Okay. That's fine. So there's the Agility. Alright, now the Air Balloon was broken on this thing, so I can Earthquake. Um, I can Earthquake freely, actually. She had no Levitator, no Flying type. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for Earthquake. Let's do that. Uh, do not want to risk missing a high jump kick. If she is running the Ground Berry, kudos to you, Crest. That's all I gotta say. Kudos to you. Uh, now let's see here now. So we have an Alolan Golem. I just wanna see. Now, unfortunately, the Damage Calc doesn't really have any Alolan Golem sets. It's just blank. Uh, she stays in. The Earthquake's gonna connect, and we see no berry. And this thing should die! Okay, fantastic. I got a little scared there, not gonna lie. Okay. So Blaziken kills uh, Alolan. I'll just put a golem, I guess. Whatever. Okay. Now, Salazzle dies unless it's sashed. Sucks that rocks are enough. Actually, Salazzle might not be able to kill me. Uh, it's really the, If the Gengar is sashed with Psychic, that's her best hope for killing this thing immediately. Because nothing really scares me out, uh, bar like a missed high jump kick. I mean, she could be cheeky and pull a double, go out into Lapras, and then switch right back out into her Gengar. Uh, predicting high jump kick, that's very possible as well. Uh, she does the Hitmonchan, which is going to come in. Alright, now Hitmonchan, let's see. Let's see. So your Assault Fist was knocked off. I'm willing to bet that you are max HP, though. Um, let's see. Let's see. And... High Jump Kick would kill, but it is- Okay, Flare Blitz is a roll, and so is High Jump Kick. Or, excuse me, High Jump Kick's not a roll, but I can miss. I'm gonna go for High Jump Kick. Pray I don't miss. If I miss, I lose the battle. Okay, I thought I missed there for a second. Okay. Okay, so- Whew! Blaziken, you can't be scaring me like that. Kills Hitmonchan. Now, that's kind of bad, because I did reveal the High Jump Kick, so she might be able to play Mind Games with the Lapras. But, uh, we'll see. Into Redemption. Um, this thing has to be Focus Sashed. This thing has to be Focus Sashed. I'm gonna go for the Agility regardless. Or not the Agility, the Earthquake. I hope I didn't misclick the Agility. Oh god. I feel like I'm playing a little too ahead of myself here. I gotta relax. Okay, I clicked Earthquake. Are you Focus Sash? Are you Focus Sash? I would guess that you are just by the nickname. Yeah, okay. So you're Focus Sash. What do you do to me, though? That's the thing. What do you do to me? Sludge Wave. That's not gonna kill me. Um, unless you're gonna poison me. That might kill me. Do not poison. Okay, good. No poison. I do not believe she has any form of priority. So Earthquake will pick up the KO. So Blaziken's gonna get three KOs here. Not even bad. Uh, so kills the Lone Golem. Kills Hitmonchan. Freaking agility, man. Shout out to Midnight if you're watching. Uh, Heat of the Week right here, potentially. Uh, I would like to submit the freaking... Uh, 11 hit heat of the week because that that set was hp ground like it, if you saw my team you'll know if you don't know what heat of the week is it's on the mpa channel it's basically a series uh i don't think it's thing scarf by the way because she would have brought it in a lot earlier it's basically a series where um midnight just talks about all the, the heat sets basically uh that were brought this week let's go for earthquake she might still be scarf act no she's not scarf is she sash then is she sash that's the only thing I could think of. No, she's not Sash, so Blaziken gets four kills. Um, she could have potentially played mind games with the Lapras and tried to bait the high jump kick because high jump kick or yeah, bait the high jump kick because any other move besides high jump kick would not kill 
on the Lapras. So uh, we kill Gengar and let's think here now. So I, I don't want to risk missing the high jump kick. I want to preserve differential. No disrespect to Crest. It's just it's a very tight race in the playoffs and I want to make sure I make it. Uh, so Flare Blitz doesn't do nearly as much as high jump kick does. So I got to click high jump kick and hope it connects. I got to click high jump kick and hope it connects and I miss. Well, oh well, <laughs> um, dies to suicide, I guess. That's really annoying. Uh, I think Zapdos comes in here though and just kills though. Yeah, Zapdos should come in and just kill. A uh, little unfortunate, but at least we uh, we get a 4-0 it looks like. Ah uh, oh man, I wish that landed though. I really wish that landed. I mean, granted our differential is pretty good. Oh, uh, well, excuse me. Even though we're 2 and 6, our differential is decent at negative 1. It's really not that bad. Uh, I will click Thunderbolt here and hope it gets the KO. I mean, Ice Beam shouldn't kill me. That doesn't kill. Okay. Ice Beam shouldn't kill me unless you're modest max, but I don't think you are. I don't think you are. Okay, good. Do not freeze me. Okay, there's some poison damage. Uh, unless you have Ice Shard, uh, this thing's going to go down this turn. So that should be a 4-0 victory. I'm speaking too soon. Okay, that should be a 4-0 victory for your New York Clinks. Uh, we are now 3-6. Not not, not not the best record, but definitely more respectable than like 0-5 or whatever we were early in the season. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out Crest. She has been struggling a bit, but even though this is like her... I think it's like her third and a half draft league because she was in a league for uh, for half of it, then left. And we actually took over her team in P4G. Uh, she's definitely improving though, especially if you watch her earlier stuff. She, you know, she's running some different sets. Uh, gotta give her props for the rapid spin plays. If there was a top five plays uh, in the NPA, which I don't think I don't think we have that series, but we should. Uh, very very smart rapid plays, rapid plays, rapid spin. So, GG to Crest. Check out her channel. Thanks for watching. Keep rooting for the clinks. I will see y'all next time. Have a good rest of your day and. Bye-bye.